Hey folks, it's Chef Kevin. Tonight I'm making a mushroom stock. And actually, they're not regular mushrooms. These are morel mushrooms. These are highly prized in the cooking business. They're very expensive. Right now they're going for over $200 a pound. Actually $220 a pound, I just checked. This is half an ounce and this cost me $13. It's very hard to find them fresh. Uh, I know a couple of places here in New York City that sell them fresh. Otherwise you have to use the dried ones which are just as well. These last six months in the container. As you can see they have a rather unusual shape to them like cones. Okay, uh, morel mushroom stock, what is morel mushroom stock and what is it used for? Okay, a stock is flavored water whether it be chicken stock or beef stock or fish stock they're just flavorings it's flavor enhanced water and it's a clear liquid there's no bones or any other substance in there it's just a clear liquid and what is it used for? well stocks are, are the foundation of sauces and that's what I'm going to be making later on tonight so I need this mushroom stock for the sauce so I have my six ounces here I have a pot of hot water there's one cup of water in that it's not boiling it doesn't have to be boiling it has to be hot and what I'm going to do now is just let them stay in there for an hour and then I'll finish the process. Okay, the morels have been soaking for over an hour. Now what I'm going to do is strain them. Now morels are known to have a lot of dirt In them. Uh, this looks pretty clear though, so we're doing good. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go over to the sink and run these through cold water and squeeze them out just to get any excess dirt that may be in there. Okay, so I have my morels that have been washed under the sink just to get any residual grit off of them. The last thing you want is to bite into a piece of grit. It's really awful. This stock already has such, such a nice woodsy flavor to it. Okay, um, I don't think you can see this but there is some sediment on the bottom even after the straining but that's not a big deal because now I'm going to pour it into a, another container and I just won't pour the whole thing in there so what little residue will stay I don't know if you can see this there's a little residue in there It's really not gritty, but I don't want to take a chance. So I have eight ounces of morel mushroom sauce and my reserved morels. And I'm going to be using this in a duck recipe that I'm going to be making later tonight. So thanks for watching. One last note is this will last about three days in the fridge.